Have you heard of a place called Mystery Flesh Pit National Park or its official name, Facility 5472? No? Well, I'm going to take you there. Are you ready? Let's go. Supposedly, this is a truly bizarre natural geobiological phenomenon that was discovered in the Permian Basin region of West Texas, southeast of the city of Odessa in the early 1970s. Now, this gigantic pit is home to an enormous subterranean organism that's deeply embedded within the earth and it displays a vast array of highly unusual and disturbing phenomena. And as the name alludes, this is supposedly a giant flesh tunnel opening through the Earth's epidermis, dermis, and hypodermis and more, revealing a colossal esophagy and leviathan spleen. As you descend, you may encounter spasm fits and gastric ejecta or feel your body moisture being leached. Deviate from the marked trails and you risk digestion, lethal entanglement with macrobacteria and abysmal copods or splattering of amniotic secretions. But what about the fauna, you ask? Well, there are several that visitors could encounter, but the rangers were given proper firearm techniques to dispatch any dangerous organisms. You have the gasp owl, which was a creature named after its characteristic of labored breathing, or the Venus shamble, or the abysmal copod, which tended to evade trails in high traffic areas, making them difficult to spot. Following its initial discovery and subsequent exploration missions, it was commercialized by a company called the Anodyne Corporation and turned into a tourist attraction in 1976. Now, the facility was divided into three sections, the exterior security perimeter, the on-site pit entrance, and the internal research facility. And all three of these were maintained and staffed by members of a special joint operation task force. But in the early 1980s, the site was absorbed into the National Park System, which maintained and operated the Mystery Flesh Pit until its sudden closure in 2007. Today, the ruined and abandoned section of the region is all that remains of the original National Park's infrastructure when the area was contaminated by ejecta on July 4th of 2007. And this catastrophic disaster resulted in over 750 fatalities and over 800 major injuries. In the weeks following the incident, approximately 18,000 individuals from surrounding communities sought medical and psychological treatment for ailments including breathing problems, chest pains, shortness of breath, nausea, birth defects, hallucinations, depressions, anxiety, internal bleeding, sore throats, and headaches as a direct result of contact with gastric ejecta which had been introduced to the atmosphere. Now, Snopes and everybody's mama will tell you this is all just a work of fiction, a world building project. But is that just something that people tell you when they don't want you to know the truth? You be the judge.